Hello viewers, you're welcome to Premier Sports Fan Centre. Today is a wonderful day, Tuesday 30th July 2024. Today we're here to look at what's happening in France right now, going on in Paris at the Olympic, uh, Olympics event. That is what we're looking at. And today we have a couple of matches going on. Of course, I need to introduce myself first. My name is Yinka Adibuyi. And I'm going to be hosting you for these matches going on right now. Uh, from the studios, we are televising, we're actually running the matches between Guinea and US and France and New Zealand. Of course, before these matches, there were some matches that have already taken place today. The first one was Dominican Republic versus Uzbekistan. They played one all draw. And then followed by Espanol or Espana versus Egypt, which ended one, I mean, one, two in favor of Egypt. Uh, can you imagine? Amazing how Egypt could defeat uh, the big Spain at the Olympics right now. And then the match between Morocco, which is Morocco, versus Iraq followed that. And um, Morocco won that match by three goals to nil. And then we had the match between Ukraine and Argentina. Argentina predictably won the match two goals to zero uh, against Ukraine. So the live match is going on right now, which we're going to be running. And we expect you to call in and talk to us and share with us as we televise, I mean, as we run this match, will be the match between USA and Guinea, and then the one between New Zealand and France. Presently, the score line is 1 0 in favor of US. USA is leading by one goal to zero against Guinea, and New Zealand is down by one goal against France. So viewers, you're welcome here. You can call in. You can call us at the studio with the number you can see on your screen. Send your comments in, and um, you can join us in whatever form you feel like joining us. You can also make predictions for the play of it. Uh, it's just for the fun of it. Uh, we can be part of this. And um, to progress in this match, we are going to be looking at the starting lineup. The statistics for this match, USA versus Guinea, on the 23 World uh, Olympics tournament, which is going on in Paris right now. So for the starting lineup, USA paraded the goalkeeper, Shufei, and then in the first line, they had Hamel, Zimmerman, Tolkien, Robinson in the defense. Those, those are the four people in the defense line for the United States of America. And then in the midfield, they had Diaz, Tessman, Mihalovic, and those were completed their three in the midfield. So they are actually running a 4-3-3 formation in the U.S. lineup. And in their front line, we have Paredes, Yao. Aronson filling the, uh, the front line, completing the 11 for the U.S. And now we have France advancing again. France is advancing. Oh, they just made a cross that couldn't go through. And France gets a corner kick in the tournament going on uh, right now in Paris. So to continue with the lineup, Guinea versus USA, we're looking at Guinea presenting their keeper as Celia as the goalkeeper. In the defense line, they have a three-man defense. They have BCC, M. Suman, Madhu Keita forming the defense line. And then in the midfield, they have Diawara, Balde, Diallo, and Turi forming the midfield. So they're actually running a 3-4-3 formation. Four people in the midfield, three in defense, and three up front. So the three up front here are Moriba, Kamara and Ba. That is the starting lineup for the game US versus Guinea uh, going on right now in Paris. So right now we have Guinea trying to catch up with the goal line. They are behind by one goal. They're trying to lace their passes together, but they're not uh, they're not doing well enough. United States has an advantage now. There's a free kick. Uh, one of the men is injured and is on the floor. The number seven man is down on the floor 
and play has been stopped in that match. Now looking at the match between France and Zimba I mean and uh, New Zealand we have New Zealand with an advantage right now they have uh, an advantage of a corner kick there's a dead ball situation here will they get the goal back we're going to find out New Zealand takes the corner kick and a header and no he just passes everybody in the defense they're going to try again another cross is coming from here they're driven there and New Zealand plays a wonderful shot but deflected and another shot deflected again for yet another corner kick to New Zealand. So New Zealand has an advantage right now. The pressure is on France right now. And let's hope they make something out of it. In the other game, Guinea versus United States of America, the US Dream Team is attacking from the right to the left. And they're passing the ball in their own half right now. While we wait for New Zealand to take the corner kick, and a corner has been taken, and a wayward header sends it way, way above the goal line. And if the goal were doubled, it wouldn't still have gone in or even tripled. But that was a good attempt by New Zealand. They're putting pressure on the French team. And of course, we expected the French team to, to perform, uh, to win the game. Bookmakers will have given it to France. So it is still according to expectation and predictions. But right now, United States take a cross and a shot. And United States just missed the goal narrowly. The ball hit the upright. And then the goalkeeper just picked it up. That was a beautiful chance to the United States of America. A beautiful cross. And a save was made by the cross, I mean the upright, which helped the goalkeeper to get the ball. And that will have been the second goal for the United States if it had gone in. And France is attempting another chance at goal, a chance to shoot, and France takes a shot, deflected, and New Zealand will breathe again on this other side. So New Zealand will have a chance to pass. They're playing at the edge of the 18 of New Zealand, and France is attempting again, and a ball comes to the New Zealandish player, and the ball is taken away to safety, and they will build again. So we're looking at the lineup for the match between New Zealand and France right now. Gentlemen and ladies, I want you to know that we're in for a good time this evening. Please push in your comment, push in your predictions, push in whatever you want us to share here. You can even call in. The numbers are on the screen. Just give us a call and uh, tell us your opinion about this match. It's our show. And yet, we have another goal. United States has got another goal oh this is beautiful and, it, and it's becoming a nightmare for the africans in this tournament guinea is under intense pressure right now the game is going just 31 minutes and we have us already two goals up and this was a beautiful counter attack from the united states and it was a solo run the guy got a beautiful goal from the left side Wonderful goal, but very poor defending by the Guineans, and they're not making African proud here. I have to be honest, a lot of the African representatives at this Olympics football tournament have not lived up to expectation. Both men and women, they have been disappointing. It's not the same in the basketball arena, anyway. Uh, we, we could see the Nigerian female basketballers defeating the number three in the world, Australia, uh, by 72 to 69 goals yesterday. It's nine points yesterday. And we also saw how Angola, uh, no, sorry, Sudan actually stood uh, very strongly with the United States of America and just losing by one point uh, or short of United States. What it means is there is hope for Africa in, those, in, in that particular spot. And remember, this is a tournament that will come out with medals. And you are actually rated by the number of medals you get. So for football, right now, the match between Guinea and United States is on break for cooling. So people are on cooling break right now in that match between the United States of America and Guinea. The goal line is two goals to zero, and United States is ahead in that game. So we're looking at, once again, we're looking at the, the lineup between uh, France and New Zealand. Let's remember that France is actually the favorite for this game. We expect New Zealand to give their best shot. 
Had they been from Africa, I'm not sure they would have qualified for this tournament. Competition would have been stiffer, and it would have stiffened them out. Okay, so we have the New Zealand under-23 men team. The goalkeeper is Paul Sim. Defenders are Boxel, Sutton, Bindan, Suman, Kelly, Hild. And then in midfield, we have Bell, Gabert, Singh. And in, in, the, in the attack, we have Wayne and Van Hartman, Hatom, in, in, in attack. So New Zealand is actually playing a 4-4-2 formation. A 5-3-2 formation. They are using five uh, defenders with three central backs and then two wing backs. And then they have three in the midfield and two people up front. So they are actually playing more of a defensive formation. Small wonder they are suffering so much from the French. Uh, unless they change this formation, they are going to keep suffering because the French has possession of the midfield. The French are playing five people in the midfield. They have five players in the midfield who are Le Panat, Dioff, Cherki, Loco, and Doe. Five players in the midfield. And in defense line, they have Lukeba, Magasa, and Matsima. And in goal for France is Nkambadio. In, in the forward role for France, we have Camwendo and Mateta. Wonderful, very strong formation the French have uh, in this game. They are very well-built players and uh, pretty strong, pretty powerful players they have there. They, they stop the New Zealanders before they even make any, any difficult or dangerous move. And the match is still going on. Guinea attempting to get a goal back. It takes a shot. And it was gone very close to the corner flag. Very wayward shot the Guinean took. Unfortunately, we can't help them other than to talk about their misses. While the United States will restart the game, and the game is taken from the start, So we're, we're moving from left to right, and right now Guinea is attacking. The United States players are defending right now. In the game between France and New Zealand, France just made a run at the defense of New Zealand. France made an attempt. They wanted to cross in, but it couldn't be because the player was too sluggish to pick up the ball. I wonder what happened to him. He could have been drunk or overeating, or something kept him back. Somehow, it was too wishes to get to the ball. But the play will start again from the line of the New Zealand. And the kick has been taken by the goalkeeper, the defenders. And an attempt is made on the French defense, which has been well taken care of by the goalkeeper of France on the 23 team. In the game in between Guinea and United States of America, Guinea is making an attempt. They have a chance at goal right now because they have a corner kick. And they have a free kick just at, outside the edge of the 18 box of the United States of America. Will they get one back? Is this going to be game on for Guinea? Will Africa smile here? It was a poorly taken kick, but they have a chance still. A cross will be made from the left flank. Oh, no. And... Oh, no. He will try to make the cross. He doesn't. And he will try to pass down. Guinea is passing in front of the yard, the penalty area of United States. And they have laced about seven passes together. Yet, they are not moving forward. A long cross comes in from Guinea. Well taken care of by the defenders of U.S. Guinea will attempt again a cross from Guinea. Oh, no. And the United States kicks that off for a corner kick. That will have been a sweet one. Had Guinea been able to connect, the winger sent a square play, which was not connected by the striker. And that is where we are right now. Guinea is still struggling to get a goal back. United States is making sure they don't get it. And on the other side, France is making another attempt. They cross. The cross comes in, deflected by a header from one of the defenders. France will go again. Let's get back to United States and Guinea right now. The United States 
is defending here. Guinea is taking the shot. They have a chance via the crossing. They cross. He comes in and it was shot out. Somebody did and all, all strength, all length, stretching to get that ball out of the 18. But a Guinean player will get a yellow card here. How unfortunate. He went for the ball, but it was too late. He kicked the man instead of the ball. And now Kamara will have a yellow card to his name. He is fined by the referee, the wonderful young lady who is officiating this match. It was a beautiful attack. Yes, there was pressure on the defense, but it went too strong on the defender. And the match between France and New Zealand will continue. It's a midfield play right now. The ball goes out of, into touch via a kick and a tackle, a very untidy tackle by the United States defender. And New Zealand will have a chance to throw in to continue the game. Premier Sports Fan Center, once again, you guys are live and you can send in your comments, you can call in, and we're here in the studio running the match between United States of America and Guinea from Africa. And we're also running the match between New Zealand and the French team. We know about the French. The French team has been very strong since the 2018, 2014 period. They are still very strong, both at senior level and at under 23 level. Right now we're looking at having uh, a spot kick for the French team. They're moving forward now. They're attacking at the edge of the 18. France moves in into the 18. But oh no, the defender, the New Zealandish defender, sends the ball into touch for a corner kick to France in a very dangerous position. So while we await play to continue, we go back to what's happening at Guinea versus United States. Guinea is attacking now. Oh, the player has been fouled. The referee says no problem at all. Keep playing. That's not a foul. He should have been stronger than that. He was supposed to eat well before coming to the field. He should have done fufu. Or he could have done gari instead of the eating spaghetti. He was falling off like a spaghetti. Okay, anyway, the game is still on. And, and the game between France and New Zealand has just been stopped for a throw-in at a dangerous position. France is attacking while New Zealand is defending. France is playing from the right, New Zealand from the left, and New Zealand is throwing right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Premier Sports Fan Center, and we are enjoying these matches from the Olympics. We know the Mundial comes in every four years. And this year we're happening in Paris. And in Paris, we know what goes on in Paris. Very interesting. That was a beautiful shot from France. A wonderful shot. Taken just outside the 18. It was a bazooka. And the keeper stretched all the way. He couldn't get there. Even the goalpost stretched. They didn't get there too. And the ball went just a little bit above the goal line. Just above the upright. And is out into touch for a goal kick to New Zealand. America will go again at the Guinean defense. There was a score play and a comp there was a connection from the striker who took a shot that went just off the goal. It was, it was actually deflected by the upright. Oh no, that would have been another goal and that would have been disastrous. There might not have been a comeback for Guinea. Well, should we say Africa at this point in time, in case that had gone in. Okay, so we're still advancing from here. New Zealand is attacking France, and uh, the man number 10 is taking this into a wrestling bout. He held the man and attempted to do a kachugi kick. But this is not supposed to be a wrestling field. It's supposed to be a football field. And the referee says, no, you have to stop doing that. And then they stopped the game for a free kick to France. Here we go again. The Guineans are attacking from the left. It was a cross. And that was saved by the goalkeeper of the United States of America. So ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome once again. I would like to welcome our 
wonderful host who I was just standing in for. He's here now, our wonderful, wonderful commentator, wonderful journalist. Let's welcome, uh, we have Shego here yep. to take it on from me. Shego. Well, good evening, the doc. Um, welcome. You've done very well tonight. <laughs> it's still the game between New Zealand and the old station France in that encounter. And the game is in the 43rd minute already. Still France leading 1 0. Can't say that goal from Christopher striker Jim Philip Meteta is the only reason why France are still ahead in this encounter. And they are caused to qualify for the quarterfinals of the um, Paris 2024 Olympics. And still France who are playing in their um, white attire tonight against um, New Zealand who are playing in their all black attire. And it's that still that game in that encounter. And also away from that game between New Zealand and France, another game going on is that game between United straits of america and africa's representative the guinea on that 23 uh, we call them the silly um national and that game is also in the 44th minutes two goals um to the united states of america goes from paradise and mia Leovic is what um differentiates um these two teams at this time in in, this, in that account and back to that game into france and new zealand is the french team who are currently having the better share of ball possession of the uh, the duck you've been here for over 40 minutes and let's go straight to this game into france and um, new zealand how dominant do you think france has been in this encounter well france has been 70 percent dominant in this encounter new zealand has just been playing defensive they've been doing catching up uh to be honest uh they don't start much chance uh, the goal line remaining 1-0 here is not a good justification for what has happened in this game so far so new zealand is just lucky to have this goal line right now yeah that is all to play there's all to play in group a where france are currently topping with nine points should they win those games they are yet to concede they go out of paris 24 olympics second team in that group is united states on that on that 23 team that uh, they are currently playing that third game, which means they've won two. Should they win this game against Guinea as it stands? Um, the Scots sees a considered four and have six points. New Zealand sits third with three points, and Guinea might just be kicking their eye out the, the Olympics a goodbye as they currently sit last, last in that group with zero points. And some groups are already completed. Morocco on the 23 teams top the group B with six points after three games. And second in that group is Argentina on the 23 teams who also qualified uh, with six points. Another group which is done is the group that has Egypt and Spain. And surprisingly, it's Egypt on the 23 who top that group with seven points while Spain on the 23 um, finished second with six points. They lost to um to egypt today and nobody saw that coming yeah yeah you, you, you wouldn't have expected spain you know just before you came in i was just running that surprise and i was like wow how did it happen and egypt actually came back i think they actually came from behind to win that game mm -hmm. and they convincingly won spain in that encounter and argentina was uh, up to it they but morocco has been the exposure of this yeah. tournament they have won all their games, including the one against Argentina, of course, with so much controversy <laughs> at the end of that one. <laughs> the game result came after two hours mm -hmm. in that encounter. You know, it was something that never happened in football before, but we saw it happen for the first time here. But Morocco has been impressive in their keeping uh, that margin of victory. They have won all their games and they are ahead in their, in their group. And yeah. I think they will go far. Remember, Morocco actually went far in the last World Cup. They, in, in yeah, they the, got to the semi-finals. They got to the semi-finals in the World and Cup. They, that they've actually been improving since, uh, yes, since that I, time. I think they, 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 they think about the Moroccan uh, Football Federation. There's something about them now. They're possibly paying more attention mm -hmm. to their academy and development, yeah, it's actually uh, which is reflecting It's now. actually doing the magic for them. Yes, it's reflecting. Okay, back to commentary. Did duty is in that game between France and um, New Zealand. The goalkeeper is all bed today, and the finds his defender there spotting the jersey. Number fifteen is badly Loco, and Loco goes forward with the ball for Spain uh, for France. Sorry, returns it back to Lukeba, who has been fantastic um, for France in this competition. Returns it back to Loco. Bradley Loco on the ball there comes inward into New Zealand half of the page there and sends it back to his um, midfield partner. And looking at the French in this competition, do you think they have what it takes to go? to the final and also win this football competition at the, at the Paris 2024 Olympics? Well, the French team, what I see as the advantage mostly is uh, they have been playing rather weaker teams. Mm -hmm. And um, they are not as technical as we expect, but they have strength and they have the build. Most of them stand above six feet and they are physically built. But when they face sides like Morocco or Espana, 
that are technical and can read the game uh, wonder how they will perform. But I, I actually don't think they don't, they don't seem to have the quality to win this. Okay, That's looking for at the two African representatives who might be making it to the quarterfinal, Egypt and um, Morocco. Yes, they both book their, their spots in the quarterfinal. That's right. Do they have what it takes, you know, to win the Olympics again after we've seen Nigeria in 1996 oh. and um, Cameroon in the year 20, 2000? Can we have another um, winner after 24 years? I think Morocco stands a very good chance with their performance so far and the way they have built. Now, remember the team they brought today contains part of the team, I mean players, who were in the World Cup, that won the World Cup. They have experienced players who can actually deliver. And the team has been together, very cohesive. And um, thankfully, it is not fasting season. So we expect Egypt and Morocco to have their full strength in place for this tournament. So Morocco is my pick from the African qualifier, qual I mean qualified teams. But Egypt may also go far. Okay, tonight, once on the set, so we'll be having the all eight nations who will be making a run through to the round of 16, uh, to the cutoff final, sorry. And we'll also be having eight teams who will be kissing the tournament of goodbye. And that game between Nigeria State of America and Guinea, that game is in the 48 minutes of six minutes additional time. It's yes, who are costed to victory in that one, 2 0, the current lead against Guinea. And that game between France and, um, and, uh, France and um, New Zealand, we are in the Third minute of four minutes additional time. And yes, France with a corner kick in this uh, New Zealand, sorry, with a corner kick attacking against France. We did have a chance of getting an equalizer against the under 23 teams of France. It takes that corner kick straight into the box there. He's the deflected out, and still New Zealand were in possession of the ball. It's the captain who hanged on to that ball there. And the referee said he has seen enough of this halftime, and he has actually blown the whistle for halftime break. It's France who lead that halftime against New Zealand 1 0. Matete with that goal in that encounter. And also in the game between United States of America and um, Guinea, we are into the um, four minutes, four minutes of six minutes additional time added in the first half. And what about this Olympics? We've been seeing so, some kind of additional minutes, which are just looking way too much for me. Wonderful. I actually saw something like 15 minutes yeah, additional time. that was the game time. Uh, between uh, Argentina uh, and, um, uh, Morocco. and Morocco. And in fact, that game dragged them to 20 minutes, about 21 minutes. Uh, but that's because there were a lot of breaks anyway. There were stoppages in that game. Uh, well, I think what FIFA is trying to do here, uh, the organizers here are trying to make sure that we have a fair representation, really, that even if you hadn't um, spent the regular time you should spend because of stoppages, you should get it in reserve, irrespective of the amount of time required. Uh, that's also what played out when they had to declare the score was um, incorrect two hours yeah, after, the, after game. the game. Because they're trying to just look at the game holistically and decide that, look, because within the time of the game, we agreed it was 2-2, doesn't mean that's the end of it. We're still going to have a forensic view of the match. And we discovered that that goal was an offside goal. But it seems it was a, it actually um, better a lot of controversies after that game. Yes, there will be controversies, but the goal was from an offside if you look at it properly. So why didn't VAR see it in the first place? Or why did VAR ignore it? This is not a premiership VAR where you just ignore things and go away. That's possibly what the organizers are saying. The premiership? <laughs> <laughs> in premiership, they do a lot with VAR. Hello. So, but these guys are like, okay, VAR decided, referees decided, but no. We're looking at it again. And this is a clear offside. Yeah, yeah. We're not giving Argentina this goal. And then they took the goal back. And I remember Lionel Messi's face was like, whoa, how did that happen? That never happened in football. Two hours after the game. Yeah, it caught, it caught everybody on the way. I'll get back to that account. It's half time also in that game between United States of America and Guinea, with United States of America leading 2 0 in that account. They're costing after the cutoff final. Austin stands in that center away from football to some other sports at the Olympics. Talking about that game, the basketball game uh, where Spain today defeated Greeks um, 84 77 earlier on today. Canada and um, Australia, another mouth watering, mouth watering game. A game everybody doubted or called to be. Mm. Um, 
uh, a title winning game. Um, Canada defeated Australia 93 83 for them to book a spot into the um quarterfinal stage of the basketball competition at the Olympics. And that's, Japan, that's men, men's game, right? Yeah, in the men's game, Japan also lost to home nation 1994, but it took an overtime um, for Japan uh, for France to get a victory over the stubborn um J over the stubborn Japan um today. Yesterday, we saw some beautiful results. I started with the Nigerian female team. Oh. I remember they were talking about it in the studio looking at the Nigerian group coming into the Olympics. Yeah. Nobody gave them a chance. Going up yesterday against world number three, Australia female team. And they did surprisingly well. 75-62 was the result. Yeah. And, and, and let's not forget that uh, the Nigerian Tigers have been African champions yeah. for quite for a while. For peace. Four times yeah. in a row. You know, so they've been winning here just like the Super Falcons win in the female football in Africa. But when they get to the world stage, it's all a, a different ball game. But this time around, the girls were very confident from the start of that game. I saw one or two quarters of that game, and I was impressed with their confidence. They kept taking it up to the Australians. And, and, and you know, it, 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 it's impressive because by the time they face the dream team of the U.S., they can actually come up and challenge them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. not forget that a lot of our girls <laughs> yeah, play actually play in the well, United they, States. I don't know the level of the United States of America players. Oh. I saw the US game yesterday. Yeah. You know, seeing the likes of um, um, Stewart and the likes of Chelsea Gray. You know, these girls are really, really fantastic players when it comes to the game of basketball. Yeah, but when you look at our scoreline, Nigeria versus um, Australia, Australia. 75-62. 75 I mean, goals or points in a game of basketball. It's Which not bad at all, actually, considering what yeah. France played with Canada, 54-75. But United States was all out. 102 goals, so 76. Against Japan. That's a yeah, lot. When, when it comes to the height, I think they actually um, actually bullied down the Japanese with height. It okay. was just so evident yesterday. Again, another game where Nigeria will be having a face off is that game between Canada and France because those are the other two teams in Nigerian group. Um, France defeated them. Canada 50, uh, 75 to 54. While Nigeria will be waiting for Canada, uh, for France, sorry, in their next game at the Bay. At the um, Paris 2024 Olympics, so uh, you can catch all actions when it comes to that um, table. That, when it comes to that basketball at the Olympics, I know a lot of Nigerians are now big fans of the D Tigers. Yeah. Even if they don't, even if they don't watch basketball, but yes, now they want to watch the Tigers. Uh, the D Tigers are still to come at the Olympics. We still have representatives like um, Toby Amusa and the likes of um, uh, um, Okoro, Okoro Dubu. Who play who, uh, who, are, who is actually a, a geek uh, wrestler? Wrestling, so there's yeah. still lots of um, what's it called um, potential medals hopeful for Nigeria That's at correct. the Olympics. Yeah, even if the team competitions are not looking like uh, it's not looking likely because oh. we've seen our female team on the uh, the, um, the female Super team. Falcons. We're expecting them yeah. back home soon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they lost two matches already. They yeah, don't have much chance. Yeah, but chance of qualifying. Because Canada has um, had um, about six points deducted by um, FIFA due to um, what's it called, the breach of security, whereby they flew uh, a drone to spy over another team's um, oh, okay. um, training. So they have six point deduction. So even if Canada are winning all their, all their matches, they might not be making it through to the But are you, are you thinking Nigeria would defeat Japan? Yeah, it's just three groups. Japan, might, Japan. Let's still a chance of getting a victory. Japan. Japan. Victory over Japan. I guess all odds it can happen. I guess all odds even anyway. France, even Spain, sorry, had to dig deep against Nigeria yesterday to get a, a, a slim victory. Oh, but, but they won. Yeah, they just it's won a game point. of 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and they won. Why did we lose at 80 something minutes? Why did we allow that goal? That's the problem. Okay, we're all waiting for signals for the second half to restart in that game between France and New Zealand. But let's go straight to the start on 11. It's Obed and Cabadio who is the goalkeeper for France tonight. And it's the back three of Christian Massima. Um, so go to Magessa and Castillo Lukeba. In midfield is Bradley Loco, um, Joan Lapendet, Andy Dioff, and Desire Doe. And we have um, Ryan Cheki who is playing as the attacking midfielder. It Promising player, no doubt, who plays for Olympic Lyonne. And we also have um, Jim Philip Metete, who scored the only goal in that account. And Arnold um, Kalimon Endo at the 11 man starting for France tonight. And it's looking like they are actually missing their talisman tonight. So I'm talking about Michael Olise. Olise is not in that game. Is he injured? No, he's not injured. I think it's the last game. It's just more like a formality game. Oh, okay. So that's possibly why he's sitting it out. Yeah, yeah they miss him, but the team is strong enough. They have. Uh, they have strength on their side, and they can actually win this. Okay, let's say France will be getting... Because New Zealand is not a strong opposition yeah. for them. Okay, straight to New Zealand starting 11. It's Alex Paul seen as the goalkeeper. And we have a back five of um, Sutton, Suman, Boxer, um, Bindon, and Kelly Eld. 
and the midfield trio of on Joe Bell, Safet Sign, and Matthew Gibbert, the captain, and the front two of Ben Wine and Oscar Van Houten, who are the players who will try to, you know, try and break the back of United States of uh, back of France in this account. And straight to that game uh, between United States of America and Guinea. I'm uh, starting with the Guineas um, starting eleven with Sumaila Celia, the goalkeeper and uh, back three of um Magdu Keita, Mohamed Soma and um Bengali Case Sisi. And the midfield we have a midfield four player of Alobade, Abdullah Traore, Amadou um, Diawara, the captain tonight, Amadou Diallo, and up front is Ilias uh, Moriba. That is a name that actually rings bell because mm -hmm. he was from the Barcelona yeah. um, U team. And we also have uh, Al Ghazim Ba and Usman Kambara um, making the 11 man player for um, Guinea, who are currently two goals down against the United States of America, who started with Patrick Schultz as the goalkeeper, Nathan Ariel, um, Zimmerman. Um, Mia is Robinson and John Tolkien as the back four in midfield trio of uh, one of the goal scorer Dodmi Alovic, who scored uh, the first, second goal for the United States of America in this account. Uh, Maximan um, Diet and uh, the captain Tina Tisman, who is starting as the front of the midfield trio. And up front, we have the, uh, the attacking trio of um, Graven Yo, um, Paxin Erosin, and Kelvin Paradise starting up front for the United States of America in a game where they want to book their qualification to enter the quarterfinal stages of the uh, men Olympics um, fo football event at the Olympics. And talking about the United States of America at the Olympics, the female team are known to be successful, but the main team are yet to get an imprint when it comes to the game of football. Yeah, well, the male team are facing a lot of oppositions. You know, you have a lot of football giants already made in football. Uh, the female, because, you know, female football started recently. Yeah. Somewhere in the 90s, FIFA, you know, acknowledged and established the female football team. And uh, by then, everybody could start. However, you had teams who had been playing soccer since the 18th and the 17th century in the male section. You have the British, the Spaniards, the Portuguese, the, the uh, French, a lot of those. And that experience and the amount of investment in those sports actually count. Well, the female team possibly all started together, so they're on the same pedestal. It depends on what you put in, that what you actually get. So the men's Ameri American men's team can actually not compare to the Giants, the super footballers in the world right now. Okay, talking about female team right now, what has really been the problem with the, our own Super Falcons? They seems not really good when it comes to the world stage. Uh, because we, we have the same situation. Uh, what we have here is a lot of these players are about the same level as per individual skills. But when you can exhibit proper technical skills, you can win. So those other teams that are powers and superpowers in world football, the likes of uh, Japan, Spain, the uh, Scandinavians, you know, the Germans, they are, they are well organized, they are well coordinated. So they bring out teams that actually play like teams, unlike Nigerian team, put together Oshuala, put with Okenze, put with, and then they just put them together and say, you guys know how to play ball, go and play ball. And then they try playing ball. In Africa, you can get away with that because a lot of the teams there are just like you. They are not as prepared. But out there, these are organized teams that have trained these people from academy level. And they have blended them from underage. So when you now face them at senior level, you, you're going to be like, just even if you match individually, you can't match technically. So until Africa or Nigeria takes it seriously to develop the female national team, and even the male national team. There was a time talent was actually getting us results in the male section. You remember, 1994, 94, a yeah. lot of talents, and uh, we had Westerhoff. Unfort oh, well, fortunately, before then, we played quite a number of tournaments together. Just before the 94 World Cup, Nigeria played the Nations Cup in the January of that year. And before then, they played a lot of qualifiers, and they were able to blend. That got us results in 96. And 98, by 98, we were already de reducing in strength because a lot of the players that won in 94 and 96 were out by 98. So, and since 1998, Nigeria has not been back on that level. We've been rebuilding. <laughs> and so we're, we've been rebuilding for about 18 long years. 
And that's because we're not paying the right attention. So we're not intentional about developing a formidable team. What we just do is bring up the best players, put them together. These are players that are on top level in their various clubs. They command first jerseys. And they come to Nigeria, they play against second jersey holders, and they can't win them. Mm. Okay, you can hear that from the doc himself. Whenever you need um, the detailed analysis, always be sure that whenever the doc is in the studio, you will always um, save you that. And back to that Spari 2024 Olympics, we can see the French uh, manager. Talking about the legendary Thierry Ori, former Arsenal player, former Monaco player, former Juventus player, former, former Barcelona, Barcelona player. player, where he won the UEFA Champions League, no mm. doubt. And as, let's go straight to the match statistics. At the end of the first half, it's France who are dominating in ball possession, having 66% of ball possession, while New Zealand are reduced to just 34% of ball possession. Total shot for France is not looking like the goal. 16 total shots in the first half and just one goal in the first half. That's Shows how that's wasteful that's France that's has been in the and, first and, half. And that's just that's to tell you how lucky the New, New Zealanders Zealand. have been. Mm -hmm. Because quite a number of those balls hit the upright. Mm -hmm. Either like left or right upright or the goalkeeper or he just went wayward. You know, so they have actually put a lot of pressure on the uh, the same thing with the Guinea versus US. Yes, yeah. yeah, United States actually had a lot of chance at goal and even went towards the post cross crossbar uh, upright and and the goalkeeper like that like that. So this to me is a game of um, they are clear cut games really. France should win this game, uh, except they make blunders, mm -hmm. unforgivable blunders, and um, United States will win this game. They are already in control anyway. Two goals ahead. Okay, the players in that game between France and um, New Zealand are making their way back to the top through the tunnel for the start of the second half. Uh, let's see if um, Sutton led um, New Zealand can boost uh, or boost the point in this encounter and get themselves one point against the host nation. I guess a lot of them think can happen in a game of football. So you can't you don't have to, you don't want to write off um, New Zealand in this encounter. We can see all eleven players on the pitch. And it's looking like New Zealand will be preparing their first substitution at halftime. I'm not always a big fan of you know making halftime substitution because it looks like um to me it yeah. does destabilize um, the morale of the team. Yes, it actually distorts. It, it, it's not just about the morale. It actually distorts your formation. Okay, the players are used to themselves. They've been playing together for 45 minutes. They've adjusted to themselves. And then you're introducing somebody else. There is no way you can have two players having the same technical skills, yeah. the same abilities, and the same vision. So I'm pairing with you in central defense, or you're playing at the side back, and then they changed the side back for me. The former side back knew exactly where I was going to push the ball. But the new one has to learn. So we have to start protecting him, which takes one man short of who should attack. So I'm trying to cover for him so I can't move forward. And that's exactly one of the problems you face when a new player comes in at halftime. Okay. Okay, that's what the player we're bringing in for New Zealand is Oscar Van Utim, uh, who has been substituted by the referee, by the manager, sorry, and it's those um, Lacan Bally's who has been thrown into that encounter by Darren Bazeli, uh, the manager of New Zealand. Let's see what we're bringing into this encounter. Will he be getting down New Zealand an equalizer against all odd? Uh, the ball is being played into the hands of the French goalkeeper who spills this. Oh, no, sorry, the New Zealand goalkeeper, sorry, who tries to um, tee up his teammate but couldn't get that into the hands of um, Aled, um, the left back in that account. It's France who will start playing with the throwing against New Zealand. And also in that game between United States of America and the Guinea is the start of second half in that account also. And what are the hopes of Guinea in that account? Uh, very, very low. Or should I say very high? <laughs> 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 the odds of them losing is very high. They're not good. They're, 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 they don't look like winning that game at all. United States has actually kept them in bounds. They have checked them. Although Guinea made some lovely attempts. They took some nice shots at goal. But they were always going wide. And they, were, they had to be taken in a hurry. Because the, the United States defense uh, seemed to be stronger than the, the attack was providing. And the um, U.S. also has, a, will I say, a more confident set of players than the Guineans. 
Of course, goals make you feel more comfortable. Yeah. And Lady Tuzer is actually a very you good know. result. But yesterday we saw one team that is the our African sisters. I'm talking about Zambia. At a point at the start of second half, they were leading Australia um five two. And at the end of the ninety minute they lost they happened to lose that lose that game um six six five. Five six. And and, and you know that 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 um Zambian team, their first match was a I guess United States of America. Yes, it was it was terrible. I think they lost three uh, goals. Yeah, three zero. zero, to, yeah, zero three to goals three. Um, first half. But they got a record in that encounter. Oh, well. They lost zero to three. And it's amazing that they came back and they were leading by five goals to two. And then, of course, in their character, they will concede the game. Now, this is a game of 90 minutes. Yeah. And because you scored first does not give you the victory of a match over the opponent. You need to defend until the last minute because the same way you scored, they have equal opportunity to score back. Sure. And so, if you, 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 in fact, if you want, if you're leading, you have to be more careful because any goal against you will demoralize you. And then by the time morale drops, they will keep scoring. So you you are even in a worse position when you're leading like that, and you have to keep your chance. And they score one, even if it's just five three, then you are in trouble because they will come back. And then you will lose confidence because you don't want them to keep scoring. So you're protective while they continue to attack you. And then that's what happened. I was surprised when I saw the scoreline. I saw it last <laughs> when it was about 5-3. Yeah. I was actually hoping Zambia uh, will have Africa, got a yeah, win. First, you first know. Victory Let's see Olympics. a first female win if possible. And then uh, the end of the game was 6-5. And I was like, what? Are you serious? It's like a handball or something. Okay, I'm talking about coming back. Two teams will be hoping to stage a comeback in the second half. Guinea is one, and also New Zealand is the other. And both are losing terribly in that encounter. He has a chance for Guinea, but that's when we go into the back of the net as it was easily deflected there um, by the United States of America. Uh, Mayfield has there, and that chance fell straight into the Guinea number 10. Talking about Moriba, the former Barcelona youth product, and uh, was now currently. Uh, place for um, the Guinea um, si um, national team and back to that game between New Zealand and France. It's France who has a corner kick in that encounter and they'll be looking to send this into the box. Mateta is a threat in that box. Let's say we'll be getting a second goal in that encounter against um, New Zealand. Uh, we can also see the French number 19 also in the box there. Top players in the box there for France and easily up. Uh, Easily guided there by the goalkeeper of um, New Zealand, Alex yeah, Paulson, who serves that straight into the hands of the captain, Matthew Gabbett. Gabbett finds his teammate spotting the Jets number six, um, Joe Bell. And Joe Bell with the ball returns it to Sutton. Uh, Sutton on the ball there comes inward for New Zealand, who drops the pass for Siege in the midfield. And Siege on the ball finds um, um, Binding. And Binding comes forward and finds um, Matthew Gibbet. And Matthew Gibbet goes forward, tees up his teammate there. And what was New Zealand makes out of that? That was easily cleared for France there. And it's out for a throwing um, to New Zealand. And it looks like New Zealand are interested in coming all out against uh, France in the second half. Yeah, New Zealand has been trying, but most of the time they play their ball in the midfield. That's been the bane of this game. They've been playing in the midfield because the defense of France has been too strong for them. That's what I see. And um, that's what's been playing out. Now, New Zealand has a chance now, but what do they do? It takes and a shot. shot oh, the and flashes just, of the, of the goal like post there. And we're shot there from the captain himself. The New Zealand captain with a good shot, Matthew Gabbett, will cut it to inches off the goal post of um, Obed. Wow, that looks like... That was a good one. Mm. It was a good move. Mm. That, could have, that could have been converted to a goal. Yeah, that, that was more yeah, most but, likely. But if, if you look at what Guinea is doing, they also have chances. Yeah, they also have a good chance. But that was there. a beautiful well, well, shot. That was a beautiful well, shot there. Too, too close. This guy looks just like Lukaku. He must be his younger talking guy about, uh, or that's something. That's his Osman uh, Kamara. Uh, who Plays yeah. that beautiful shot, but straight into the hands of the goalkeeper Patrick Shorty as that will be threatening the United States of America goalkeeper. Back to that game between France and um, New Zealand. It's still the French who are still struggling to get their second goal in this account. A lost possession straight here, and it's um, New Zealand who comes all out against some um, United States against some um, France. It's tease of his teammates, but easily cut out there in the midfield by the elf. And the elf finds out the way and desire the way with the ball there comes inward in for um France. What will he make out of this? A good speed down runner with the ball there returns it to his teammates and still France in possession. What will they make out of this? T tries to take a teasing dribbly uh, over his man there, but lost possession immediately to New Zealand. New Zealand coming all out looking for that needed, the necessary important um, equalizer against the French side, and won't be finding it that easy um, to beat um, Keba in that um, situation. 
and it's still 1-0 um, France lead at the fifth and second minute and I think it's very much important France gets the second goal early on in this game yes uh, France well we all believe France is safe they have qualified yeah uh, and I guess they're throwing in their they're gonna be throwing in their reserve players to get match experience and match time uh, and of course we expect New Zealand to keep trying and to trying to get a goal uh, New Zealand has not won any game in this tournament and they look like going home. So if, if it's just a consolation goal for them, they no, want they actually to get... They won. They won. They, they actually defeated um, Guinea. Oh, okay. In the okay, first game. Yeah, the sorry. First game, yes. I forgot that they played Guinea. Guinea lost all <laughs> their games. Yes. Somebody must so have they won. So they're on course to, um, to actually... So move. if, if, if uh, New Zealand can get a draw here, they will qualify. It's actually, be, it's actually a good result for them. Yeah, that's now be four points for them. They will uh, go through. No, United States are six points right now. So it's look like United States of America will be picking that second spot. They'll pick the second spot. That's fine. But they, will, they can come in as <laughs> well. I guess the game of football, it can stay up on even Guinea. It can still stage a yeah, good comeback against the United States Canada's of America. Wall. Okay, yeah, it's um, Bradley Loco on the ball there for France. Uh, returning straight into the fence there. Finds uh, Matisma. And Matisma comes in. Well, there is uh, Desire on the ball there. What would Desire make out of that? Dribble this man comfortably there. And those onto the ball. Tries to tee up on Bradley Loco there. But couldn't get to his um, destin um, um, destination there. And it's going to go out for a throw into um, New Zealand. Is the fifth, the third minute of this encounter. And still France leading 1-0, sorry, in that encounter. In a game where we've seen two goals already. Is that game between United States of America and Guinea, which is um, going on right now. And it's Guinea, we're currently in possession. And it's Mohamed Soma on the ball there. The referee spotted on the fridge bench and asked for play to restart in middle. And here's um, Guinea coming all out through Bagali Sise. Sise finds um, Alubade. Bade with the ball returns it to Sise in the fence. Sise holds it onto the ball, comes in water, finds um, Soma. And Soma on the ball there. And finds um, it tees up his midfield of Ab Amadou Diawara. Diawara returns it back into the hands of Soma. Soma on the ball finds uh, Diawara in the midfield. And they are currently, just like they did against France, you know, all out of possession, beautiful yeah. possession in your own box. But coming all out to attack against your opponent has been a big problem for them, even right from that game against France. Yes, you will agree with me that when you are not well, when you are not well blended, this happens. You can play in the midfield, you can juggle the ball, you can hold the ball. But deliver the final pass or get the goal will be an issue. They've been taking shots, long range shots, hoping for a chance. That's a gambling, really. They just just take a shot. Let's just see if the keeper will miss it or something. But it doesn't work in today's football. Today's football actually requires finesse. It requires accuracy. You have to be very on point. You have to be intentional about getting the goal. You can barely see the Spanish team take shots from that long distance. They're going to get it to, to your penalty area, and then they're going to punish you. They're going to do th two or three passes. And the same thing, that's what uh, Germany does these days. You can see them barely taking shots from long ranges. They come into your area, score a play, and then they get the goal. Uh, yes, a good chance for France with that big second goal, but that was a miskilled pass there that from um, Desire Dokudo there. Uh, we'll have expected him to do better. He's a big money um, player. There are a lot of clubs, you know, cycling around him. There's Bayern Munich, there's yeah. Arsenal, there's Chelsea cycling around him. He's 19 years old and desire the way. Uh, let's see if he can actually sell himself to one of his uh, prospective uh, buyers, oh, probably okay. at the end of the Olympics. It's a, it's a dual national player, right? Yeah. Which country does, um, is it from? It's from France. That's why I know for now <laughs> because he's a oh, French oh, player. Because oh, wow. we've seen the issue with, I, between the Argentine I, and um, French players of calling them and how to get into. Yeah, uh, it got ugly. Okay. Now, if, you, if you actually looked at this French team in the first half, it looked like an African team. <laughs> like an all-African team. Okay, so <laughs> the gaffer uh, is the duck who said that, so not me. Oh. And back into play there is France, who are currently comfortable with their leader. It's Magasa on the ball there. Magasa come forward and finds uh, Matsima. Matsima, where well, the ball comes in well for France into the other half, which is the um, New Zealand's half. And here's a chance for France to eat out across into the box. Will have been good there, but uh, the striker, Arnold Kilimoindo, has ups that options, returns it into midfield. Still a chance there with that big second goal. Oh, oh easily no. saved there Wonderful by Alex Paulson. Uh, where a good save there from the New Zealand goalkeeper. It's New Zealand will be breaking from out from the defense, trying to attack with lost possession almost immediately. And yes, France attacking, finds himself in the box. A chance for the way. And Desire with the ball there, cuts in well there, but that will be getting to his destination. And still Doe on the ball, returns it to his teammate, checking on the ball there, dribbles in well there, and tries to tee up his teammate, but easily, def what a easily cut out there what by the, a New, Zealand on on the New Zealandish defense. 
that was a heavy one. They kept going and coming, deflected. They kept going again. Mm -hmm. And they're still going back to the defense again to see what they can get. Yeah, and it's still the shot, no, was uh, it that is the off on the ball there. Chance of France there. And yeah, it's uh, still uh, uh, Jackie uh, with the ball there. Uh, and the Jackie with a good shot there. But that was a deflected now, shot. Now and this is go a out reflection out of very what has happened in the first half. <laughs> That's this is a jack, just a clear reflection. So they keep making shots, deflections out, and corner kick and out, and all the rest of them. Okay, it's going to be a corner kick to France in the fifth or seventh minute of this encounter. The time is ticking, and just the way, uh, just the way the New Zealand, the Islanders will be praying that this game ends 1-0. Um, so it's going to be a respectable result should it end 1-0 uh, in favor of France. But they can still dream, and it can still happen. It's France who has a corner kick, and we can still all guys on the box there. Magasa is one of them. Uh, Masima is also in the box there. They chose to go very short uh, pass there, and that will be a wasted corner kick from France. But still, France will regain possession. The recovery rate for the French team has actually been impressive in this encounter. And yeah, he's um, talking about Lukeba on the ball there. Lukeba returns it to Loco, and Loco on the ball there on the far um, le left there. And yes, the France in possession. Lost possession, Gary game possession almost immediately. And it's looking like New Zealand doesn't have a job of playing football here. Yeah, they're here to defend. And uh, if you look at their defense line, they put five people there. And they actually kept three people in the midfield. And I wonder what they expect to happen. The French populated their midfield with five players. And uh, they, put, they put only three behind. And uh, you can see the result. Unfortunately, the French have not been getting the goals. And that's why New Zealand can still come to challenge. And you know the problem? The Problem all the permutation I'm having in my head right now is about this French side is that they are not looking so solid like a team that might get might, might go straight to the final and win this competition. When you look at the likes of um Morocco and you see have the likes of Spain, you still have Argentina in this competition. Yes. These are teams that can cause France a lot of problems. Yes, they can actually set them back home. Oh well keep oh, them at home. Yeah, <laughs> okay. they can just <laughs> send them home to their various villages. Okay, Matsima straight into the hands of La Penet. La Penet returns it straight to Masema. Masema finds out his teammate in midfield the way and comes to in world well, yeah, returns it back to Masema. Masema with the ball just to go straight into the hands of Magaza. Magaza with the ball finds um um uh, finds Lukeba. Lukeba with the ball comes in well for France there. Tries to still hold on to the ball and waiting for the opponent to who are not interested in attacking against France right now. France building up possession and momentum against um, this um, New Zealand team. Doe on the ball there he has been the old oh, cut in what there. Tries to tee up his teammates. Easily defended by the New Zealanders who are defending in their numbers. But the way they the way they kick the ball out at every moment, not even passing with themselves, yeah, they it just, shows up. Um, they just want safety. Mm, safety and they first. don't want to concede more. And look at the French. They are not disciplined enough up front. Yeah. They're not they are not um Probably because um probably maybe because it's their second um Fido team. Because I can't really imagine Lacazette and uh what's it called Michael Olisa start started this game and they'll be missing this clear cut chances. Oh well we expect something different. But what if they were injured? Mm. Oh, oh okay. I actually believe they are rested because they are currently on the bench. No, I, I'm saying what if injury happens? Won't wow. you bring in these guys? These are the reserves. Okay, we expect um, the French team should be doing better than this and still looking for the second goal in this account. A cross into the box for straight cross. into the hands of the New Zealand goalkeeper Alex like, Paul Singh. We haven't seen you in action for a while. Do you want to touch the ball? Come on, take, mm -hmm. hold the ball. And that is um, Cheki with a chance. Um, talking about Ryan Cheki, he was a big money prospective um, player who Chelsea was looking for. United looking at nearly got another yeah, they goal. Yeah, they nearly got a third goal in that account. Uh, what will have been. Oh, what a big save there it from was the goalkeeper. A very huge one. Yeah, a big save from it right there from the um, Guinea goalkeeper to keep this game at um, the respectable, uh, respectable 2 0 um, lead for the United States of America. United States of America has another chance from a corner kick. They'll be looking to get out the confirmation of their third goal in this encounter. It's the 60th minute in that encounter. A chance for US United States of America to get the third goal, a powerful header there. But that is inches off the uh, net, uh, the goalpost of um, the Guineas in that encounter. And back to this game between France and New Zealand is the since the second minute. The time is fast ticking. We've seen over one hour of football already, and still France leading 1 0. But they need to get a second goal in this encounter. Yeah, you will expect France to secure the second goal, otherwise, uh, they will continue to be on their necks. And their defend, I mean, their fans are going to keep sitting at the edge of the chair. Second goal is the consolation. U.S. has already got their own, and they are sitting fine. They are allowing the Guineans play the ball in the midfield. 
They have populated their defense, they have packed the bus, and they are ensuring that the Guineans don't face their goalkeeper one on one. But the Guineans have a chance right now in the 18 yard of America. But oh, they that's got to be going straight into the yeah. back of the net and still talking about the Olympics away from football and basketball to what is happening at the ATP singles. Talking about uh, the Roland Garros where we have uh, the long tennis going on. It was Drapa who lost to the United States of America. Fritz today 1 2 in that account. Uh, Mutesa from Italy undefeated uh, Navon. Um, two, two straight sets up in that account. Uh, Helga Alessimi from um, Canada defeated the uh, Mats. Mats Materia of Germany two straight sets. Varev of um, Germany also defeated the uh, Machak of um, Czech Republic two straight sets. Wakrinka, that is a um, um, Stan Wakrinka also lost. Wow, surprisingly to Popri of um, Australia two zero in that encounter. And also another surprising lose was that of a um, Mexic who lost to Paul of United States of America two zero. And still to come, we are waiting for confirmation of the results from Straff and uh, more tech in another game. And Ofna against Medvedev. Lot of interesting names on playing the, the yeah, long tennis. Medvedev at the will win that game. Yeah, sure, sure. He's a big young player. Yeah. We everybody expect to win, and that's a counter. And also straight to the WTA, which is the female singles. Also at the Roland Garros, where um the Olympic event is coming on. Those players are actually familiar with that tough because yeah. that is where uh, we have uh, most of them play. And play. talking about the king of um of of the clay, talking the about uh, Rafael Nadal. I think yeah. he's, he he pulled out. Of that game against um was it called Djokovic yesterday? I'm getting confirmation of that. But straight to the results from the WTA I singles. Think he got injured again. Yeah, he got injured again. Uh, straight to the results from the WTA singles at the Olympics. Um, we have a uh, Keba who defeated uh, Fernandez of Canada 2-0. Um, Navario of the United States of America lost surprise lost as expected to um, Zheng of China 1-2. And uh, also have Osorio of uh, Colombia against um, Collins of the United States of America. It's Collins who defeated um, Osorio 2 2 um. 2-1, yes. A surprising result was on Vekic defeating Coco Golf, the United States of flag barrier to the Olympics 2-0. She's out of the singles already. Surprising oh. result. Coco Golf yeah. losing against uh, Vekic. Who would have thought that will be happening at the Olympics? Well, well, that is the Olympics for you. We also have another game of Victonia of Ukraine uh, losing also to um, Reshkova of Czech Republic 1-2 in that account. Uh, Sakri, um, Sakari of Greece lost 1-2 to Kos Kosyuk of Ukraine and in the last game right now is world number one um, Swatek playing against Wang, um, Wang Zi of China. That game is still in the first set and Swatek who is sitting comfortably leading 5-3 in that account. Uh, surprising, surprising results in the tennis at the Olympics. So it has been a um, surprising result, yes, and that game between Djokovic and Nadal. Su surprisingly, um, it's always a big battle between these two players. Yeah. But Djokovic defeated um, the Spaniard 2-0 um, on the Spaniards' favorite tough. Talking about the Roland Garros of the clay so tough is where he's actually um, a big player. But he lost yesterday to Djokovic. I think he's in the two light of his career. He should start thinking of retiring right he now. Should, he should. I think Joko, um, Nadal should be 38 years right now. Joko is 37. Uh, both of them are in the two light of their uh, career, as I see. Because our career well, has been... Fitness-wise, Djokovic is still on top. Well, I, I think bec it's because Nadal has been inflicted with a lot of injuries lately. And sustaining that knee injury, coming back to play, is always very funny. He sustained a lot, you know, and he's gone forth and back under the knife to restore that. So it's going to be weaker as we go on. But Akaraz is coming up. Yeah, that's, and, big, that's um, a big boy right now. And, and I'm sure Djokovic is going to be pissing in his pants if he <laughs> has a fixture with Akaraz. Yeah, we saw Rapun I wouldn't know. Why would, would they pair Djokovic and Nadal in the first game? Why, why on earth? I put this super. That, that, would, have been, that would have been a great game for a semi final. You know, let like these people meet later. You know, that's what football wouldn't do. Uh, <laughs> we'll get back to that game between France and um, New Zealand. We're 25 minutes away from the end of that encounter as we're approaching the sister six minutes. Got it straight into the sister seventh minute in that game between France and New Zealand. Still France leading 1 0. And we've had our first yellow card in that encounter. Going straight into the eyes of the left back of, us, of um, New Zealand. Kelly Ed who got that, that yellow card in the second half. And still 2-0 to uh, United States of America in that game against Guinea. That game is also in the 65th minute. 25 more minutes to go in that game. As United States of America prepared to substitution on a chance for France. But easily cut out by New Zealand. 
They've been doing a lot of defending in their black jersey in this encounter. And let's see against our Lord. We did be getting a goal against the United States of America. Talking about that, a chance for New Zealand. What would they make out of this? With this period goal for them. Why? What was that? Why? What was Why? that? Why on it? Why on it? Why? That's my question to Ben Wayne. He should be teeing up his teammate there. That was a chance for New Zealand to get a goal against United against of France. And yes, France going all out of trying to return the favor, getting their own goal. But just like uh, the resilience and stubborn New Zealand has been in this encounter, they easily cut on um, that attack from the French side in this encounter. It's still 1-0 in the 67th minute, approaching um, 68 minutes in that encounter between France and New Zealand. Here's a chance for New Zealand to attack. France and Lukeba um, turns this man comfortably there, sends it straight into the hands of Andy Diouf. Diouf on the ball there, finds his teammate. Return possession, the chance for United States of America, but straight into the hands of the goalkeeper of New of um, Guinea, who came out to get an important uh, block there, an important catch for his team in that encounter. Uh, yeah, it's a chance for France to go ahead in that encounter. And it's the number seven man there with the ball there, and returns it straight into midfield. There finds a Brad the local, a chance for France to attack right now, and we are we and the off with. Tease up a long shot there, but that will be threatening or got his, get his straight oh, into the eyes of Alex Paulson. And there's an infringement in the midfield, and the referee spotted that comfortably. And it's going to be a free kick to New Zealand. Now, France should have actually got a second goal here. They had all the chance. Uh, but the connection was not made by the. Yeah, the instructor. connection was actually bad here. Yeah. was poor. Ooh, we couldn't get his leg onto that ball very well. Talking about Andy Diouf, he was the one who got that good chance. And looking at the players playing for France today, you hardly see a white player on this pitch. Yeah, well, they have two of them right now, mm -hmm. I think. They have one or two. Uh, even Cheki, even Cheki we started is not really a French. He's more of a, uh, what's he called, Tunisia, Tunisia guy or Morocco, one of the two. Mm, it's, it's, let's just take him as white. <laughs> Uh, let's leave the colors out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear that uh, from the dog. No, but the thing the I appreciate about the French team is that yeah. the opportunity they are giving yes, and the respect, African and the respect origin, you there. know, players of African origin. They, 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 they actually give them so much opportunity in virtually all their games. Well, we saw play a player like um, Tony Cruz who was complaining about a lot of immigra immigrants in um, Germany. Probably he's also scared of a day to come where we have a, a, an all-black um, German starting eleven. Oh, well, he could be scared, but you know, you have to compete for the shirt. You need to realize at the point in time that you have to put your best leg forward, number one. Number two, we are also looking at giving everyone that if is your just. national equal opportunities. So if they naturalized, they are your nationals, even if they came from Africa. Barack Obama became the United States of American president. And it was the first generation of, the, of his family in America. His father was a, Ken is a Kenyan. Kenyan yeah. He's a Kenyan. And um, the man only gave birth to him there. So it wasn't like his father, father. No, he was the first generation of his um, family in America. And he's still gone, I mean, went on to become the American president. So who cannot represent America? As long as you're a citizen, either you're born there or you're naturalized, I, I believe you're free to re re I mean, represent America. You know, I'm looking forward to the days when you're going to have uh, fair-skinned people representing Nigeria and playing for us, not just um, Plumter. You'll have like five or six of them there. And we're all going to Europe, and we all look alike, you know. <laughs> you have six, uh, six um, white-colored people here, white people here, black people, and versus Spain, parading about five or six blacks too. And we're just playing, and nobody's interested in your color or what it looks like. You know, that's 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 the future I look forward to. Are still to come tomorrow? There will be some uh, confirmation in that female games at the fo female football event at the Olympics. Brazil will be hosting um, Spain tomorrow at 6 p.m. Same time, Japan and Nigeria will be kick started. So you can trust to us. And that's a chance for France. And, and that's the second goal. Second goal. The French has doubled it and is up desire the way who has doubled the lead and scored his first goal at the Olympics. What a way. Look at that piece of skill from that 19 years old boy. Yeah, they, they, you know, desire the way has always been looking like trying to score. And um, from his name, I think he has to be from a Francophone nation. Of course, it's, that's why he's playing for France. Uh, and, uh, he's, he's been pushing, he's been attacking, and he's been making the most. But this was the. Oh, no. Okay, no, the guy didn't go for the ball. Yeah, that was a beautiful skill. And it was so comported. Dribbled his uh, marker, 
and just tapped into the goal net. And that's a beautiful goal. It's not an offside. It's a goal. And he played it just in the right position. Other players will have lost composure and they will have hit it against the goalkeeper. But Desire actually put it in the right place. He was so calm about it. Yeah, good and he's just right a there. teenager. Can yeah. you imagine? Good goal there from the Reigns um, midfielder there. And no wonder Chelsea, um, Manchester United, Bayern Munich and Tottenham are all waiting and looking for his signature. Talking about that player who was born in the year 2005. Desire the way of getting the second goal. I'm very sure the manager, Thierry Henry, will be proud of that goal scored by that young player there. And it's up France who has doubled their lead against um, New Zealand in this account. And it's looking like a game that is done and dusted already. Yeah, that's exactly what we expected. I will have put so much on it that there was a second goal coming. Uh, that game wouldn't have ended 1-0 in fairness. And um, looking at the American and the Guinean team, I think the U.S. players are tired. The tired legs are not matching up with the Guinean strength anymore. So Guinea is actually controlling the midfield. If you take a look at the possession in the second half, I'm sure Guinea will have come up almost, if not at uh, the same margin. Uh, yes, France breaking out against that. Uh, With them. What a woeful pass there. That is a woeful pass there from um, Andy Diouf. He should be doing better with his pass there, but couldn't tee up his teammate. And you can see the reaction on his face. He's disappointed in I himself. I think it's about the cut, right the haircut. There's something about that <laughs> haircut. <laughs> you can see the dog here saying that, that probably it was the haircut that actually uh, confused them. The off there. And yeah, he's on New Zealand coming all out to try and get a second goal, a first goal of their own in this account. They still start a good chance of qualifying um, should they defeat um, this French side against all odd. And yeah, he's um, someone on the ball there. Summer comes in while they returns to his teammates. And yeah, he's New Zealand presented with a good opportunity. But Lukeba won't be having any of that. Um, turns this man and sends that ball into safety. But easily cut back there by New Zealand. New Zealand lost possessions. France will be eating on the counter. Chance for the French. It's four against four in this situation. And yeah, he's a Scorer. and yes, a chance for France there. Would do I will be making, and yes, a chance for them to get a goal. But once we need to be going to the back of the net, but still, and that's that is goal. the goal. And we have confirmation France will score three in this encounter. Is Amado Calimundo with the third goal in this encounter? Yeah, the Calimundo Amado, what a beautiful goal! The, he, he should have actually got the pass in the first place. Uh, the first attempt at goal was too selfish. The guy didn't stand a good chance at scoring. Well, you know, like they say, you never take any... Yeah. Uh, there's nothing wrong with taking your chances in the 18. Just give it a chance. Take the shot. You know, but mm. that guy was in a better position. Technically, you wow. should have given good it go, to uh, Amanda, Calimundo. Calimundo. That is a typical okay. striker goal from the number nine player who yeah. is playing for the France. And he actually went counter. for the right upright. Yeah. He was so close to the upright. And that, that's the mark of a good striker. You know, talking about him, he plays um, in. Uh, he also plays for Steel Drones in the French league. Talking about the 22 um, years old um, striker, a fantastic player at this competition. That is a typical goal. And you can surely say that these boys are actually learning one or two from the legendary Thierry Henry, mm -hmm. who is their manager. What a way to come into this encounter. The two point one strikers for the French side have scored in this encounter. Desire the way also scored one. Uh, we have uh, Jim Philip Mateta scoring. One also, and now we have Amada Kalimwendo also scoring to send the French into wide jubilation celebration right there in the stadium. And talking about where this game is currently going on, uh, France are currently the host and they're coasting straight to the quarterfinals of the um, Olympics. Now, you're, you're talking about this uh, black skinned or white skinned. <laughs> when last did you see a white skin run for the United States of America? Oh, when yeah. last? It's belong. <laughs> no, no, and never. I never yeah. did. I never did. I've been watching the Olympics since the 1984 wow. Olympics. I, I tell you, I, I watched the opening ceremony of that Olympic. I was there throughout the session and up to the end of the Olympics. And I have to be honest with you, the, 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 the black folks have always taken the athletics area. But when it comes to swimming, you're going to see white-skinned people do that. That's, that's, I think that's a game they adapt to more. Yeah. So it's more of where you are best at. It is not about what your color looks like. 
Of and your... we have the third goal in that game between Guinea and United States of America. It's Paradise who has scored the second goal in that encounter. Beautiful pick, beautiful dribble, and beautiful calls from Paradise there to score his second in this encounter. 3 0. United States of America currently leads against Guinea. That's, we might that, just that, that was a bullet from that Paredes. Bullet does not bullet. The keeper, uh, will be doing there. The keeper didn't see it coming. He just didn't see it. He was just waving like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> I did something. But come on. Uh, the yes, wonderful one. Frank Beautiful goal from that young man. Right now is on time. Uh, we'll be coming in for a uh, desired dozu. The way there. Will score the second goal in this account. Yeah. A fantastic player, no doubt, for the, the 90 years that, old. I, I'm, I'm going to give this guy player. the man of the match. Yeah, yeah. He's a, it's it's a well deserved yeah, yeah, win. Yeah, uh, we have another sub we have two substitutions being prepared by the French side in this minute. And the game is currently going on at the Orange Vol Velodrome. In, uh, and it's also the captain who has been replaced in this account. Uh, and let's see what uh, it will be, uh, the player will be coming in. Uh, we'll be bringing into this encounter uh, uh, for France in this in this game. We have about um, 13 more minutes to go in this encounter. It's looking like it's done and dusted already. Yeah, on either side, uh, the United States has won this game. It's, it's almost it's as good as one. Three goals ahead of Guinea. Uh, the Guineans look like they are really tired of the game. They're possibly looking at an exit point. Save us from further damage. We don't want to go back to Africa with a basket of balls. Uh, three is enough. Get us home already. But the referee is saying, no, you still have to play out the time. So you have like 15 minutes, a quarter of an hour to play in this game. And they have to endure. Three goals on either side. United States leads by three goals to nil against Guinea. And New Zealand leads, I mean, France, France. leads by three goals to nil against New Zealand. Uh, okay. There might still be more goals coming. Anyway. All right, we've seen we've seen uh, Michael Lisa uh, being thrown into that encounter. And Megane is uh, Akiloche also thrown into this game by Thierry Henry. Uh, that is attacking substitution. And looking at, we have about twelve minutes to go. You are leading three zero, and you are still bringing this L of players uh, into this game. I think game. what he just wants to do is to tore up his tally and possibly put them in position for for highest goal or individual awards and he also wants to keep them fresh and in the game okay olisa is coming in just 15 minutes to go what it means is their entire legs in the defense they might not be able to hurt him as it is and then he can still get himself uh warmed up against the next match remember this game doesn't give them more than two days before the next match it's not like the world cup where you get three days this yes, is the it. france attacking right now Ooh, what a teasing pass there from Michael Lise but that will be going straight into the into the destination. And yes, the France attacking right there. And that is a chance for them. Michael Lise on the ball. Turns his man in and out. And still holds onto the ball. There returns it into the midfield where he finds a statement. Andy Diouf who got the third goal in this encounter. And still France with possession. Attacking right there. A chance for France to send that into the box with a very fourth goal. But no easily deflected there um, by the number 13, uh, Kelly Head. And he's going to go out for a France corner kick in the 80th minute of the second half. 10 more minutes to go in regulation time. 10 more minutes for France to top this group and not concede a goal in Group A. Yeah, as it is, um, you know, these games, the Olympic Games, for me, they're not fair in the allotment of medals. Mm -hmm. You have 11 players playing this game. They're going to play about five or six games yeah. to get the medal. And they're only going to just going to get one medal. No, it's one medal each. It is one medal for the country. Okay, yeah, for the country. Can you imagine? They have to play several days, almost 10 days or 12 days. About two days, two, two weeks. And then you play like five, six games, and all you get is one medal. Meanwhile, oh, Japan, individual, Japan individual. already has seven gold medals and 52 medals. What is a team sport? Exactly. That's it's exactly the sports. point. If it's a team sport, then <laughs> give them medals <laughs> count it for them give them like 11 medal gold medals no, I, it's like it's we have been <laughs> doing this for so long you guys deserve to earn medals take medals mm -hmm. okay japan just take a shot of a bow an arrow pa pa yeah, that, that pa, is also a and against five games that five is, gold that is medals. Also a <laughs> and then some other come with gun in shooting what's the name of this country now they've gone about three gold medals from shooting but we also need what you guys of america does when it comes to uh what's it called swimming, swimming and um what, and um gymnastics yeah but we yeah, know they also good yeah. but you know swimming is a progressive game mm -hmm. usually it's not just one game you swim. well we can have a swimmer we can have a swimmer win about six gold medals in but a it's progressive yeah you you do you do what was the first round you do first round and then you do heat and then you go on to finals 
it's different from when you just come and take a shot, pa, pa, <laughs> pa, and. I mean, the games are just how many days old? About four just or five days old. Days, yes. Japan already has eight gold medals, 52 medals in all. Yeah, they're preparing right for time. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and that is one of, one of the reasons why they are one of the top nations when it comes to sports and activities. Not really good when it comes to sticking Euro. Them back. You want <laughs> them to go and win fantastically for you when you haven't invested in their training, in their development. That's a country I'm seeing at this Olympics. I'm talking about um, South Sudan, Adi basketball level yes. i'm really really they impressed. showed they, they showed so america yeah. pepe yesterday they showed no, to the was, pepe 101 to 100 yes it does during the qualifiers um, that was a friendly match before the olympics started proper but their first game at the olympics i'm really really you know they've actually and that is one thing about intention when you are yeah. intention about your sport oh. you it, it always shows on your team south sudan is not really it's not really a big country it's not no, a settled not. country in africa they, they, but the way they've actually you know got in the world by got the world by storm at the basketball yes. shows that yes there's room for improvement and uh, you know they've been dominating basketball in africa too mm -hmm. They have been in the top three basketball team in Africa, yeah. uh, South Sudan, uh, Angola, and Nigeria. Ah, Nigeria used to be before. We are not good anymore. Uh, well, male team, uh, we're we're still in the top, top yeah, three. Top goes to, I think it's the female that is currently carrying us right now. Mm. Oh, Again, talking okay. about another game tomorrow, is, you can st watch this South Sudan team when they take on the United States of America at the Olympics. That game it will be happening at 8 p.m. Um, France time. That should be 7 p.m. Nigeria time. So you can catch up glimpses of that encounter. They are really, really an impressive side at the Olympics. Talking about the South Sudanese in the Olympics, another team which is making uh, taking Africa, making Africa proud at the Olympics. A chance for France to get the fourth goal. But that's when we go into the back of the net. It's Al Coche uh, with a chance for France, but he will be scoring that. Oh, that still looking for his own first run goal. By Al Coche. Beautiful run for Dribbling there. for Dribbling players. For people, but couldn't pick um, that, right, that needed spot. Wow, look at it there. That was good dribbling yeah. from him there. It was almost going to the back of the net, but almost um, doesn't do it in a game of football. I'll get straight into the 85th minute. Five more minutes to go in regulation time in that game between France and um, New Zealand. It's still France leading 3-0 and also in that game between the United States of America and Guinea is the United States of America leading 3-0 over the Guineas. Well, we have to be returned back home after this, after this game because oh, they are oh, out yeah, of the yeah, competition. Yeah. You, know, no, you don't expect Guinea to be paying for their accommodation and logistics <laughs> when they have no value to add oh. in the Olympics. So they just come back home and continue their business. Oh, oh, the players are now Olympics. And, um, we're talking about Guinea here. Iliax Moribas will go back to <laughs> Spain. Should I see me return to Levante or where is he playing now? Yeah. I get straight to that game. We can see the French fans really happy, enjoying themselves in the pe on the stadium. All the players are really giving them something to cheer up, a cheer about in this encounter. The three goes up against New Zealand. And they're coasting straight to the quarterfinal. A chance for Michael Olise tees up his teammates, holds onto the ball, is looking for his second goal in this competition. And easily cut out there by the New Zealand defender. A chance for the United States of America to run against um, the Guineas there. Let's see if confirmation will that be a corner kick or a free kick. And here's another chance of Michael Olise on the ball there, holds onto it. Oh, and that's will be going out for a corner kick to France. It's 8 to 6 minutes in that encounter. We have just 4 minutes to go in regulation time. And France quickly take that. And here is Michael Olisel. Takes a lot of dribbling over his man there. Finds his teammate. A cross look cross into the box. Is they cut out by uh, New Zealand. Will be taken to safety first. And France regains possession in this encounter. It looks like uh, New Zealand are tired of playing football. Uh, well, that was, some things are so obvious. It, it doesn't look like we're going to win. Well, well, let's not get injured. Let's get back home safely. Uh, New Zealand is pretty far from here. Guys, don't be annoyed. We still have people in the rugby team. Although yeah. the rugby team is losing. The Ooh. New Zealandish team lost today. Seriously? I was surprised. They lost. They lost. Well, they were well beaten. I, I don't know. You can check. <laughs> and oh, I was surprised. I was oh, like, oh. New Zealand? You know, when we still have the the British team, the English team still doing well in rugby, but New Zealand didn't do well today. Oh, talking about the Olympics uh, in um, rugby, let's see the male team. Okay, probably okay. yesterday. Yeah, the male team let lost. The women, the, their women's team won, but their male team lost. Okay, let's start from yesterday results. What do we have in the Olympics? Uh, the male team. New Zealand. Oh, they lost. 
oh they actually defeated the, oh this is the female team the female team played yesterday yeah. they defeated the china yeah, 55 to 5 in but, that account but they are melting uh, let me see the male team what's the oh, result i Milton. still still in the playoff new zealand the playoff. fiji okay that's still women okay that's women it's still women yesterday i think today was where we had the male team let's see if they play today um new zealand there's the female it's still women today also i was I'm be waiting for confirmation of that because all the surprises i was surprised i saw the score line i saw the score line and like new zealand they're supposed to be strong in that tournament okay straight into the 88th minute approaching the 89th minute of that encounter it's still france leading 3-0 in that encounter and they are coasting straight to the to the quarter final the knockout stages of this uh male um, category of the football event at the 2024 paris olympics and yes new zealand on the other the ball the players we are fried that they are olympians after this competition is something they can live up to for the rest of their life is a bragging right yes that the a represented their country at the olympics at the yeah. games at the games yeah as they call it <laughs> at the games yeah okay yeah it's up front still new zealand with the ball lost possession the host nation are coming out right now michael olise on the ball there yeah. olise goes up to against this man there yeah. the new um oh what a chance with this little oh, worst save from the goalkeeper and that should be going to the back of the net. That was, good save, that good was, save there from that was a Ponsi, wonderful but that save, was a poor, but that was a poor shot. Yeah, poor shot there. From he could have passed. Mm -hmm. The keeper had it covered. He could either have taken a low shot or just passed to Lise. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, and yeah, so France coming all out there. But the local there returns it to the off. The off with a good shot there. That's one threatening the goalkeeper. As it's all for a goal kick to of new zealand in the ninth minute of the second ah. look at the pass that was a great pass there the from fact. police and you can see the players really really yeah. annoyed that that's going to be going to I the back of the day the off should be doing better here that was poor that was so poor from him he should be scoring this yes he should have scored that goal. i guess still three zero and it's the night at minutes and the and this new zealand who are coming all out to see if they can score a consolation goal here in this encounter which i'm very sure they'll really celebrate if they get that goal against the French side in this encounter, this game is played at the Orange uh, Velodorme. That is the home ground of um, Olympique Marcel, who plays in the French League. On a team that will be coached by the former Brighton manager Robin um, uh, De Zebi, will be coaching um, Olympique Marcel's next season. And we are into the ninetieth minute. Any moment from now, the fourth official will be showing us how many minutes, maximum minimum minutes. It will play it as, as additional time. And also, we've seen it here. Yeah, six six minutes, minutes has been added in that game um, yeah, between France. Uh, France and Guinea. So, we have a minimum of six minutes to play in that encounter before the end of that. And also, in the game between United States of America and Guinea, it's still 3-0 at the 8 and 9th minutes. United States of America also crossed the straight into the round, into the quarterfinal stage of the, the male category Olympics. And New Zealand are making a substitution in the 90 plus minutes. Yes, probably the player will be scoring those three goals for them against France under six minutes. Now, you know, uh, at a time in the games, whenever it comes to gymnastics, swimming, and stuff like that, Russia was always. Yeah, but Russia, has, Russia, has, has, Russia has their issue now because the players can come into Olympics or no, to no. the games as a federation no, of Russia. No, hold on, Russia was at loggerhead with the US, mm -hmm. so it was always USSR and USA. Water swimming competitions, uh, athletics, as well as gymnastics. But when there was no USSR anymore, USA took all that area, swimming, field and track. Uh, and then most of those inside things. But now we're having China compete with them seriously with gymnastics, even at swimming. Even at tennis. South <laughs> Africa. Remember Table South tennis. Africa came yeah. in 1990 something, 94, and the South African got six gold medals from the Olympics swimming. I can't remember his name now. This fantastic guy. I, I, we had, you know, very popular guy at the time. I'll get back to that game between France and New Zealand. We are into the dying members, the second minute of them, um, six minutes additional time in that encounter. And very sure the players are waiting to hear the final Wizu confirmation to qualify for the quarterfinal. Uh, France are still yet to, are yet to consider going in this competition with that big get. Will that? Will that? Oh! What a shot! Oh, what did they say? Oh, babe. 
Ed Camp What Badio. a save! What Orange a save! Save, or save there from the goalkeeper. Oh Lord, that guy really, is not. He was really picked out of his spot. You know, that guy is gonna <laughs> be like village people. Why? Why? <laughs> that could have been my goal, and the guy just went for it. How did he get there? Wow! Come Big on! Spot. That was destined for the back of the that head. Was that was destined for the, the goal. Last, last and save there. But village people will say no. You are not getting any goal to your name, bro. <laughs> uh, that talking about the goalkeeper oh, there. That was a wonderful Over the Cambadio who plays for Paris FC, not PSG. The 21 years old the f um, goalkeeper actually made that fantastic save there yes. for the French um, national team. That's He's fantastic. always keeping them, uh, still keeping them in this competition without conceding a goal. And that would have been a self-inflicted um, error. If that ball has gone into the back of the net, uh, well, you can't call it self-inflicted -in because the keeper doesn't shouldn't actually glue himself to the goal line. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to rove around the 18 area, mm -hmm. the penalty area, so you can support the defense. Mm -hmm. And then, in case there's a ball through that passes your defense, you can actually take it out before uh, they do damages against you. So uh, keepers are not expected to stay glued to their line anymore. So it's part of the game now. Football uh, has emerged. Yeah. Okay, we're staying to, we're into the fourth minute of additional time in that game between um, between France and um, New Zealand. It's still New Zealand coming all out. A chance for New Zealand to get their own goal. But France is not going to allow that to happen. Not tonight. Uh, they are not going to allow New Zealand to get one against them. We are into the ninth and fourth minute. Two more minutes to go in this encounter. And two more minutes until France celebrates a goal straight into white jubilation right there in Paris. Um, right there in Marseille. And Lyon, everybody will be celebrating France qualifying um, for the quarterfinal stages of the Paris 2024. And they are currently, they are gradually, they are growing into this competition. A chance for France to get the fourth goal. And what would this go? Let's see. Michael Lise on the ball there tries to pick a spot. Back into his hands. He will allow that to roll out for a corner kick. Uh, I wouldn't have allowed that to roll out into a corner kick because that will give them time to recover. That he had a chance. He had just one or two defenders there with him. Control the ball and moving again. He could have taken them off guard instead of allowing them to to, to rearrange. Is a, Michael is a, is a hell of a player. Fantastic player. And there was the time Nigeria wanted him to play for Super Eagles. No, we still <laughs> want him to play. We I still doubt, want him in Nigeria. We I want him to play score, for yeah. Super Eagles. I actually don't know when uh, an Olise uh, Nigerian starts playing for France. <laughs> if it's a Diof now oh, or an Eto, for Guinea, oh, but Guinea will I, be I scary. Don't know. As we still want him in Nigeria. Okay, yeah, it's um, France coming all out again, looking for that fourth goal to send the stadium into wide, wide jubilation tonight. Still, France local on the ball there returns it into midfield and returns it back into the hands of Oh, Luke Guinea Kiba. almost had a yeah, goal there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying there, that they had a good chance almost of scoring the goal there, but goal. almost doesn't do it in the game of football, but they have a chance from a corner kick. Tink, 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 tink. Oh, no, no he's been defend, nothing he's been for Guinea. Still Guinea, but he goes to go for a, uh, for a long shot. Oh, no. But that's what we're threatening the United States of America defender. It's still getting possession, a chance for them. No. But the it's wall not, was just too tall. It's not their day. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we are straight into the sixth minute of additional time in that game. Last minute of that game between France and uh, New Zealand. And it's France who are coasting to victory. They are not in a rush. And talking about that man on the ball, Christian Massima, where he turns it back into the house of Magessa. Magessa takes a long one, tries to tee up a local, but couldn't get onto him. There is still a chance for France with this beautiful goal. Big save there from Alex Paulson, uh, who looks like to be the man of the match on the side of, uh, of the New Zealand yeah. in this encounter. He has made some important saves for the New Zealand, and is one of the reasons why this game is still 3 0 in this encounter. I think Paulson should actually deserve something. They should give him something. <laughs> like a warm hug or a clap or something, but definitely not the man of the match. The no, team I'm lost. About on the, on the side, no, the I understand. Side. I understand what you're saying. I'm just trying to uh, downplay his efforts because his efforts had, had actually allowed three goals in, in spite of what he has done or what he seemed to have blocked out. Yeah, well, but he's the one that kept the goal margin mm -hmm. this way. Otherwise, we'll be counting goals. About six to seven goals already. And you won't finish with one hand. Be counting like one, two, three, four, five, and give me the other hand. Six, seven, eight. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and this should be the last kick of the action of that game between France and New Zealand. It's France with the control in there. 
Everybody's waiting for the referee's confirmation of the game over. As we've seen now, six minutes played already, my minimum of six minutes, and we are approaching the seventh minute of this encounter. And that is the final with you. It's France who has just defeated New Zealand 3-0 and book their spot as the top at the top of the table in Group A as they will, they'll be moving straight into the quarterfinal stages of the Paris 2024 Olympics. France 2, uh, France 3, sorry, New Zealand 0. Yeah, just as um, that's a better justification for the match. Uh, I would have expected something like 4 0 or 5 1, but the keeper was up to it. He's part of the team anyway. He was supposed to stop the ball from going in. Uh, but the French keeper also did some nice saves. They had two major saves in this game. Very beautiful. I think he's not the first choice goalkeeper. Yeah. He's not their first choice goalkeeper. Oh, he's not their first choice yeah. goalkeeper. But Restes, Restes, Restes is the first choice goalkeeper. He's the second choice, did a second choice goalkeeper. He did a wonderful job. He did a wonderful job. And also, it's full time in oh, that but, game. But it was a very beautiful yeah, game to yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Yes, also, it's full time in that game between the United States of America and uh, Guinea. Guinea has been sent packing from the Olympics. They lost 3 0 to the United States of America. So, confirmation is that France topped the group and the United States of America are second in Group A. Well, uh, the doc. It's been a good, a great night of football, no doubt. Yeah, definitely. Both matches were frantic, and then you you, you could see the hunger in both sides. Uh, Guinea wanted to go home at least fighting. Oh, you're not going to beat us without a fight, and they actually put up a good fight, but they were not technical enough to beat the defense of the United States of America. The, that was just it for them. The final ball was not coming through. The players couldn't get the run that would produce that final balls. So they were they actually considered to taking shots from outside the team, long way shots. We didn't yield anything. But the Americans were more definite. The second goal came from a beautiful counter attack. The guy buried it beautifully well. Just one tap and it was right there. Clinical in front of goal. But Guineans couldn't do that. And that's how, why they lost that way. And the same thing for New Zealand. New Zealand also put up a good fight. They came all out. They played well. Even with their defensive formation, they were still able to go ahead and challenge France. Of course, like you observed, France used a weaker team from mm -hmm. start. But New Zealand was all over the place. The game was interesting. Uh, but unfortunately, they weren't clinical enough in front of goal as well. They took some shots. But not good enough for goals. Okay, talking about clinical. Once even that will be open, will be clinical tomorrow. As to be the Nigerian Super Falcons, where they all start the playoff against Japan tomorrow at 6 p.m. You can join us at Premier Sports Fan Center. We'll be in the studio um, to give you analysis and watch uh, uh, watch along analysis of that game tomorrow. But for now, that is about how much we can take on tonight's edition of our watch along of Premier Sports Fan Center. Congratulations to France and United States of America as they book their spot in the quarterfinals. So we come your way tomorrow. It's bye for now.